Hey scrappers, got a Zenith clock radio here. Uh, probably not a whole lot in this, but let's crack it open and see see what it's worth. First off, always make sure you cut this uh, power cord off. That's number two insulated copper wire. And then also, these look like they have a little antenna of some sort that uh, May or may not be copper, I'm not sure, but it's super thin. I'm going to throw it in my number two insulated wire. I've already taken the four screws out of this, just to save a little time. So let's uh, see what we got here. <clears throat> All right, <clears throat> this might be getting the hammer treatment. Okay, there we go. Guess not. All right, all kinds of, looks like low grade, some wire. So let's get started here. Well, this looks like a whole bunch of wire, so I'm going to go ahead and unscrew this and, uh, or a whole bunch of low grade, I should say. I'm going to unscrew this and then we'll see what it's worth. Okay, so here's what's in this. Low grade board, speaker, um, and I actually use these to make the magnets that I use. You can see I've kind of just pulled these off of um, speakers, and I'll show you how to get those off. It's super easy. Uh, and then we got a transformer right there. So I'll go ahead and pull all, it's just a couple screws holding this stuff in. I'll unscrew it, and we'll weigh it out and see what it's worth. All right, scrappers. Uh, I think I found my retirement fund. It's not in clock radios. Transformer, that's worth six cents. This is worth four cents. This uh, steel is worth a penny. And the wire, this is the big money, 18 cents. So all said and done for that clock radio, 29 cents. So it's up to you if you want to uh, choose to break it down, but snipping the cord off only takes about a second so make up your mind and uh, just figure out if you want to or not all right take care